Ken Cannon saga continues. Uh, you recall, uh, this is the uh, Espionage Act violations by Donald Trump. He stole a bunch of national security documents. Some, uh, many of them were classified. Many of them weren't. But they still were not his property. They were national security documents. They are the property of the U.S. government. He stole them. He took them to Florida. He lied about where he had them or that he had them. He had people move them around to avoid the FBI finding them. Clearly, he thinks these things have value. Um, you know, and there was this giant copy machine, you know, this giant industrial-sized copier in the room where he was storing these documents. God only knows what he did with them or, or you know, how many of them have ended up in Vladimir Putin's desk uh, or, you know, Mohammed bin Salman. I mean, you know, what role did these documents play in the $2 billion that uh, Jared got? So anyhow, there's, there's this case where Jack Smith is trying to hold him to account for this theft. And Judge Cannon asked Jack Smith and Donald Trump to propose language for the jury instructions that basically said, under the Presidential Records Act, Donald Trump had the power and legal authority, I'm paraphrasing here, and legal authority to, uh, to declassify any kind of document. Therefore, do you think he should be held guilty for having classified documents that he had the legal right to declassify? That's the, the essence of the, uh, you know, which of course would, you know, if that was, if I was on a jury and those are my jury instructions, it would be, hey, he's not guilty. If he has the ability to declassify these things and you're prosecuting him for holding on to classified documents, but see, that's not what he's being prosecuted for. He's being prosecuted for stealing national security documents, which is a completely different thing than the Presidential Records Act. He is not being prosecuted under the Presidential Records Act. But Eileen Cannon is saying, no, hey, under the Presidential Records Act, and, and like, you know, where did this come from? Well, it turns out that this came from this guy, this wacky theory. This came from this guy who posted it on Twitter, of all things, on February 8th, 2022. And uh, this was, do, 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 do. Yeah, the judicial, it was the president of Judicial Watch. And apparently, uh, who's, by the way, not an attorney. And uh, apparently this is, this is what Eileen Cannon is going to go with or says that she wants to go with. Now, Jack Smith pushed back today and said, wait a minute, if you're going to ask for those jury instructions, that means that you're asking that this case be litigated around the Presidential Records Act, not the, not the, uh, yeah, the Presidential Records Act, not the, uh, the, the, uh, the specific things that have to do with espionage, the Espionage Act. And therefore, please tell me, you know, what, what's the legal basis for this case that, that you see, essentially. Now, the problem that Jack Smith has, he could get Eileen Cannon kicked out of the case. To do that, though, he would have to make an appeal to the 11th Circuit Court, which has already turned her down twice, has, has reversed her twice, and maybe third time is a charm. But, and, and this is where I'm not certain that I'm certain about this, but I believe I understand this, because I've read probably 20 pieces now in the last 48 hours about this. Um, uh, Marcy Wheeler's over at EmptyWheel.net was probably the most informative. Um, but. What I'm understanding, and those of you who are lawyers out there, feel free to call in and set me straight if I've got this wrong, is that you can't appeal a question or a recommendation by a judge to a higher court. You can only appeal a ruling. And from what I've read, this, these proposed jury instructions were not a ruling. Now, there is a, a diary over on Daily Kos that uses the word, word ruling to describe it repeatedly. I think the guy is wrong, but I might be wrong myself. That's the only thing I've seen that suggests that this is actually a ruling. Um, what everybody else seems to be saying is that Jack Smith is like in a world of trouble here because Eileen Cannon is being really sneaky or really, really, uh, I don't know, maybe sneaky is not the right word, but uh, very legalistic by saying that I'm just asking questions and I'm just making suggestions. I'm not making a ruling so that she can't be appealed, so that she can't be removed from the case. So I, I just find it 
uh, you know, fascinating and weird and, you know, what the heck is going on with all this? So we'll see. We'll see where this goes.